Welcome to this English Online Business English series. We'll be equipping you with skills that you can use to navigate the international English speaking workspace. Let's get started. We're going to start with a juicy topic, one that a lot of people like talking about but don't really like acting upon conflict management. Now there's a buzzword if there ever was one. So, conflict management 101. Number one, assume positive intentions. Okay, this is how we often approach a conversation in an attempt to manage conflict. They're going to try and manipulate you, but do not stand down. It's like when we're entering a conversation that is attempting to manage conflict, we're going to war. Remember, you want to resolve an issue so that you and your team can move forward. Start by assuming that your colleagues' intentions are positive, that they're actually interested in the well-being of the team. The truth is, they're not looking to humiliate you. How you think about someone changes how you interact with that person. This is an example of when we assume the worst. To be honest with you, I really don't think it was a good idea. You're always looking for what we didn't do well. Quite honestly, it stifles our creativity as a team versus assuming the best. To be honest with you, I really don't think it was a good idea. Okay, you obviously have your reasons um, for thinking that. Why don't you think it was a good idea? Assume that your colleagues have positive intentions. It really will help you manage conflict. Number two, listen and be open to change. A conversation is two ways. If you're the only person speaking, that's called a monologue, not a conversation. In a conversation, you need to be speaking and listening. The problem is, a lot of us think we're listening when actually all we're doing is waiting for our chance to respond. I just thought you were a little bit inconsiderate when she asked you what you thought of the presentation and you were really critical. Inconsiderate. How is that inconsiderate? I didn't want her to get up in front of our directors with a presentation that was going to make sure we don't get the funding with these kinds of things just so that we can grow together as a team and really get to where we need mm. to be. Yeah, sorry, just to whew, go back to uh, when you said that I was inconsiderate, I just need to say that I really don't agree. Remaining silent as we wait for our chance to respond is not the same thing as listening. Let me ask you a question. How often do you prepare your counterattack whilst pretending to listen? Put your thoughts aside for the moment and truly listen when your colleague is speaking. I just thought you were a little bit inconsiderate. She's been working on it for a really long time and I really think that just with a little bit more encouragement um, and maybe just looking out for the positives that it could really kind of boost her and bring out the best in her. Growth and development are only possible if you allow their words to change you and your attitude and your responses. find out more about Business English with British Council English Online, click the link in the description. To see other videos on Business English, English for the Workplace, click on the videos coming up here.